Welcome to our video on optimizing Jenkins pipelines. Today, we're tackling a question that resonates with many Java developers. Our viewer is curious about how to streamline their delivery pipelines, which currently share several common steps. They want to know, how can we avoid the boilerplate code that clutters our project pipelines? And does Jenkins Pipeline as Code offer a solution in the form of pipeline templates? Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to say just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. To streamline our Java project delivery pipelines, we can utilize Jenkins' pipeline as code feature. This allows us to define our pipelines in a single configuration file. Next, we can create a pipeline template that includes the common steps for all projects. This template will handle the build, release, and deployment processes. Now, we can parameterize our template to allow for project-specific properties, such as service names and environment IP addresses. This way, each project can customize its pipeline without duplicating code. Finally, to implement this template for each project, simply reference it in the project's Jenkins file. This will reduce redundancy and make maintenance much easier. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You can enhance your Jenkins pipeline by using shared libraries. This allows you to create reusable code across different jobs, keeping your Jenkins files clean and organized. A shared library consists of a SRC folder for methods and a VARS folder for job logic. The VARS folder contains groovy files that you can call in your Jenkins file. For example, you might have a deploy.groovy file in the VARS folder. You can call a method from the SRC folder and pass specific parameters in your Jenkins file. Don't forget to import your shared library and configure the repository in Jenkins. For more details, check the Jenkins documentation on shared libraries. And that's it guys. We've gone through, found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers.